Good afternoon, dear investors and viewers who are watching this. It has been a long time since we communicated with you in this format, but a certain moment has come to tell you about what we have and how things are happening here. Here, behind my back, we have a 10 kV distribution substation. Quite recently, what is in this room now, well, it was done quite well, with some remarks. But well, that was a whole milestone, because we have to hand over all this equipment to the Technical Supervision Authority to present this equipment, to hand it over, to get a conclusion about its suitability for operation. So after all the work was done by the contract organization, we called the technical supervisor. They came and, as usual, they made some remarks. Because it can never happen that you won't have any remarks at all. Nobody accepts it from the first time. Still, the remarks were eliminated. That's it, right? We can't get in. This way now. Did you close it? Well, just for the door not to open. Let's go in here. Well, look, the contractor guys are working here right now. How is everything done here? It's all very neat. The cable trays are covered. Switching systems of high voltage equipment are labeled. Cabinets are labeled. Grounding is done. All cabinets are signed according to cable logs. Every cable is labeled. Lighting is installed. Alarm system is installed. Almost everything is finished. The ventilation is also connected. Everything is neat and tidy. The last bit of gloss that needs to be put on, that is to paint the basement panels, to finish everything off. It's not necessary, but it will have to be done anyway, because people will be working here, and when a person enters a room, which is neat, where everything was made and done very neatly, of course that person behaves much better. Culture increases. It dictates certain requirements to the person, to his or her behavior. Because you can always say that you get what you invest in anything, right? So, what can we comment on it? Bars were installed on the windows. That was a remark made by the authority. The second remark was to put handles on these sheets. Usually they make brackets, metal ones, they rust, it's quite ugly. We installed normal handles. We even put heaters, because wood is not allowed here. And you can see that the cabinets work, everything is connected. So we are already ready to present RU10 to the technical inspection. What else will we need to show and present in order to get a commissioning permit? We will need to show the transformer stations. Here we have one, two, three, four transformers. Let's go in here and see what we have. Please look, everything is also done neatly, everything is clean. Alexander, please hold it, so that the light gets in. Everything is clean. I won't open the door. Lighting is done, ventilation is done. Bus bar leads are made. Transformers are equipped with so-called shoes, 
kids so that they won't move during vibration. By the way, as for us kids, some remarks were also given, but we increased the number of them. So everything is ready. Everything is ready. The only thing that is not ready is the following. The company, and we parted with them. That company put these doors here. But the doors should be different, because they are not fireproof doors. So we'll have to replace them. When people ask, why did we part with this or that company, there are objective reasons for that. So we'll have to replace one, two, three, four doors, and we will put fireproof ones. And actually, we should get them in the near future. Company will come, they will change them, but it will be a different company, not the one that put these doors here. Because they did that, they were proving things to us, I told them, show us the certificates, they did not do that. And then we had to contact the manufacturer, and they said that they do not produce fireproof doors, which was the end of it. And now is the point when we have done a huge amount of work, and now we just polish all those details. When someone says it's little things, it's better things, well, I always tell them, I tell them, well, no, they may do us a lot of harm in the future. So we keep polishing everything, we are perfecting everything. I will show you another place later. It was a colossal amount of work accomplished. It was done thanks to the fact that funds were concentrated to lay the cable system to that substation. There it is, of raspberry color. To bring the switch gear from where we came out and from it to the transformer and then onto the switchboards will go in there. And so the last payments, the finance that came in, they were concentrated by the moment, by the point when the weather allowed us to start the serious work that we couldn't have done at any other time when the snow was melting and there was bad weather. What is that work about? It's work on the fabrication and installation of a noise shield. The cameraman will turn the camera sideways and show it to you. This is the side here, our backyard. You can see that the process of casting the bases for the noise barrier is underway. The foundations are quite serious, because the screen is quite high. It will be installed between our territory and the territory of the garden community. What was the problem there? There was a fence on our territory, a fence belonging to Technopolis. It had to be dismantled. But in order to dismantle it, all the video surveillance and low-voltage cables had to be removed. And all this had to be coordinated. Projects had to be drawn up. It was additional work, quite heavy work, administratively ambiguous, requiring certain expenses. But the most important thing was finance. It had to be done in a concentrated and focused manner. Now, let's come over here. We can see that some of the supports, foundations, have been made here. We need 40 of them. And then we will need to bring the machinery, the equipment. Behind these supports, the supports will be dismantled when the cable is removed. And we will need to dig a trench there. You see how deep it should be. All this should be taken out. And I guess we will bring a washing facility here. Of course, we will try to make it so that the vehicles 
do everything properly and go on the slabs. So we'll start digging, probably from that end, and we'll take the vehicles out there to move smoothly. It's a lot of work and it's very inconvenient. It would have been easier if it had been done in free space in other conditions at the beginning of construction. But at the beginning of the construction we were dealing with other things. There was not much trust in the project. Many people thought that the project would not take place. So the finance flow was somewhat different. At that time it would not have been possible to concentrate and direct funds here. That would not have been rational. But now it is necessary. Let's move on. Here you see, here now we have a warehouse. Why? Because all the premises are being vacated and the rest of the materials that will still be used, these materials are located here now. Here are the fence sections in front of us. This is the 3D fence of Technopolis, which we will dismantle and hand it over. Another very interesting piece of work that was done and which only could be done if there were sufficient funds, it is the climate system, well, the refrigeration system. We are now approaching the dry cooling towers. Let's see what they are. It's quite an impressive set of pipes. We had to do all this piping. More than 390 joints were welded here. It's all checked and assembled. Here are four dry cooling towers assembled. Now all that's left is to put thermal insulation on them. And actually to make the fans. The barrier. That will be it. On the one hand, that will be it. On the other hand, that is a certain volume of work which also requires financing. And from these dry cooling towers, we have pipes going underground. What we have done with you, concentrating finance when laying utility networks. The cameraman is now showing it. You can already see that the pipes have insulation, polyethylene protection. And they come in here, where the chillers and compressors are. Now we'll go into this place. Good afternoon. And let's have a look at all of it. Here are the pipes coming in. Here we can see the piping to the compressors, the chillers. A very large amount of work was done here. And now you can see and understand that this amount of work exceeds significantly the work that was done in the individual heating station. This was all done thanks to the fact that a certain amount of funds was concentrated. Good afternoon. These are the big heat exchanges. One, two, three, four. Let's move on. It doesn't end here. Here are small pump crops, heat exchanges, and here are the cooling distribution comps. It's a colossal amount of work that still needs to be completed because now it is at the stage of adjustment, automation of all processes. 
so there is still need of a sufficient amount of funds because all of this must be insulated and it is desirable to do it in a concentrated way and quickly here we see the pipes have come out now there is piping and output to the fans ventilators heat exchangers which are installed upstairs on the floors it is being fed there and piping is going on it's a colossal amount of work the cameraman will now show you what we have above our heads you can make sure that the internal engineering networks there are people walking around over there the scale is colossal and I think that many of you, if you knew how much work would be necessary to perform, well, you would hesitate a lot. But now there is no doubt anymore, because it's done. It's done and you can see the scale. Let's go into the shop. Let's go further. If you examine the scale, if you evaluate it, it will become clear what we have undertaken and what we have done, how serious the facility is. Here, by the way, we have the water treatment and water supply station. Here we have warehouses. And in the warehouses, and the cameraman will probably show you, there are already boxes on the racks, which contain components for the products that will be manufactured angle grinders in particular. You've already seen the heating station, you know what it is. You can't be impressed with that anymore. We're going to the other side. I'll show you one more thing. That we're doing with great effort. It's the lift system. And today, a very significant event is supposed to happen, hopefully. We will connect our internal lift dispatching system. We will connect it to the central dispatch system of Zelenograd. And then we will be included in a single network. The contract for maintenance of lifts is already there. It is concluded. You can see it, right? We have not yet removed the protection. You press the button and we wait for a miracle. But it's not a miracle. Our specialists had to work hard to make all this happen. Here you are, the left, and you can go upstairs to the third floor. Let's go. And off we go. Lifts are helping us significantly in our work already. And we are now approaching the facility. Here you can see that everything is in place and labeled. Here are two of these switchboards. Only one thing is not done here. A cabinet should be in this place. And we need to connect the charging stations for electric cars and electric bicycles. The stations have been purchased, but we'll first complete the work there and then make the connection. This is a certain amount of work that we have not yet started. For what reason? First of all, First of all, we need to do all the engineering equipment that is related to the security system. That's the automatic fire suppression system, the detectors, and much, much more, plus the engineering. And look, colleagues, here are the engineering systems. Smoke exhaust, ventilation. You can see the outlets down. These outlets are there to connect the equipment. A lot of the equipment is already here, some of it will be delivered soon. What would I like to note? We had to take a certain step to purchase equipment beyond the design. What is the reason for this? The thing is that when we started the project, 
we were working on angle grinders. And it was not clear whether we would complete it or not. Because, yes, we believed that we would do it. But it was not done. And it would be wrong to bet on the purchase of specialist equipment for its production. It would have been wrong, so to speak. It would not have been reasonable. But today we have already received a certificate for the right to produce angle grinders. So it is reasonable to have our own specialized equipment for their production. What is this equipment? It is a die for electrical steel, a machine for high pressure molding, plastic molding. We already have all this. And look, we have now entered a room. Well, it's basically the administrative and utility building. Here we see the final polishing of the work. All the remarks are being eliminated. All the defects that have been revealed are being eliminated. And I would like to show you an example. Let's go into this office here. Yes, there were some complaints about the coating. The guys have redone everything. Now there are no remarks. The only thing left is to fix the battery. Actually, it was finished yesterday. Here we can show that a hatch will be put in this office. There were some remarks concerning this as well. These are insignificant, but they must be done. It must be performed. Here the panel boards are made. Here is the furniture. It was taken out of this office. This office has been finished. Now they will clean it. There were also remarks concerning the floors. Those remarks were eliminated. The acceptance has been performed. And now this office will also be put into operation. And the furniture is already here as well. Now let's go into these offices here. You can see that this office, good afternoon, this office is operating, it's working, it's living, and there are even some processes going on here. What are these? These are tags for cables. Now employees are printing those tags. It is no longer done with felt tip pens. These tags have barcodes. If you use your smartphone, you'll be able to read all the parameters. Now, the heart of all engineering systems beats here. Here are the final phases. You can see that the equipment is working. Adjustment is underway. Fire alarms are coming in here. Video surveillance is converging here as well. Heat control, cold control. Everything is here. Here you can see that the whole system is breathing, working. And ready for presentation. Alexander, please tell me, is it pleasant to work on the first floor? Very pleasant. Does it meet the requirements for offices? More than that. The employees are already giving positive comments. It is already pleasant to be there. Right. It's warm, it's nice. The turnstiles have been made. They are already equipped here. Even the entryway is here. There was a remark. There were white radiators. They did not fit in. And most importantly, there was a problem with the installation of revolving doors. That problem was solved by using vertical heating radiators. 
And let's go out here. I will also show you that there is a little bit left here. We have some remarks too. The threshold is being made. There is a temporary sign here. Why temporary? Many people said that we should have one like this. I say, guys, the main thing is that it says so much. This sign won't last long. Everyone understands that we will be transforming from a limited liability company to a joint stock company. And it's not far away, so why spend extra? Now, look across the street. We have guys doing their work there. This is due to the fact that at one point there was a never in the location of the fence, just half a meter. But according to the cadastral plan, everything should be very accurate and thorough. Therefore, what amount of work awaits us? Well, there was a forest measure in order to go into winter properly and not to squash all of this. Well, we decided to do the temporary installation of curbs and temporary asphalt coating. Because if there had been a thaw, we would have had to cut out about a meter of soil and haul it away. So those measures were justified. And now we have to replace some things here. We have to replace temporary things with permanent ones. When will we do it? The cameraman will now show it. It is our Achilles heel now, which requires certain expenses. It is the second water supply input. Now we are approaching the place where we stopped work in the autumn. And despite the fact that trenches were dug here, we had to bury them, because it was clear that we were stopping all work until the warmth, until the warm season. And now we'll have to do the following. We'll have to open it up again, remove the soil, make a hole, a puncture, go to the area that is fenced with yellow bars, lay a pipe, and reconstruct the water supply chamber. Technopolis has such technical conditions, and we have to fulfill them. These are the funds. And it is necessary to complete works on the landscaping of the territory. The works were also completed here at the end of the year. We closed it here in the last moment. We put a support wall, although in fact our territory should end at the corner of this building, according to the cadastral plan. But, well, they put this one here. Nevertheless, now the weather has allowed us to do the support wall properly. Here it is. Piles were screwed and it stands on these piles. There will be a fence. It will be a supporting wall. And you can see the asphalt right here. We will need to extend it and remove it partially. Here you can see the storage of boxes, pipes for the ventilation system, fire smoke exhaust, ventilation and so on. This is everything which is related to the building's safety systems. And for us to receive the certificate on completion of construction, we need to complete all these works. It requires certain finances, because what is happening upstairs now, this is what we have planned and we will organize this work. We have more than 200 people working on the third floor after May the 20th. There. And we must complete the installation of ventilation systems as soon as possible. 
Nevertheless, we are conducting the preliminary presentation of documents. The majority of folders have already been formed. We understand what kind of work we need to complete in order to receive that certificate on the completion of construction and a permit for commissioning. We have plans, that is, we have to start production in August. Now, let's get back to production. Alexei, please empty the bin. Papers are blown away by the wind. Let's get back to production. So we go here to the production site. We see all the details, all the components. And here are the components of the first custom motor. This is an import substitution motor. This is a French one. Now those French motors are not supplied. And they asked us, can we do this? Yes, we can. And you can see what has been done. But we are not making one mode at once. We are making several of them. Why? Because one is for testing. We will test it very seriously to the point of its physical destruction. The second one is for certification. The third one is for the customer. The fourth one is for warranty. So we'll be able to present it. Look at this handsome station here. It is electric car charging station, which will be installed in the near future, and then we will connect it. By the way, the same thing began in the United States, just like in the Soviet Union in the 90s. Tesla charges. Well, they cut all the wires and they put them on copper. So they will report this so. And if you turn the camera now, you can see that the guys at the machines are being busy with something. They are designers. They master the machines. In order to develop everything better, they need to understand how all of it works. Let's move on. Here are the blanks for work. These blanks are cut at the work place. We already have all the equipment for this. Let's go. Here we see that there are quite a lot of other materials in the warehouse, but much less than before. Here is the casing for the water-cooled motor. The photo was posted and many people were swearing. Why is it so rough? Well, it is all rough, it's true. But I will show you something else, so that you understand what is happening. This motor is also water-cooled, it's German. What is the processing quality here? But we'll also process the protective coating. By the way, this is an electric bus motor. It's German. Its supplies are also very difficult now. Let's go back to our old, old one. As they say, the new is the well-forgotten old. This is the basis of the 318 color block, and it will be intended for the moth, as we call it. What is it? Show me the blades over there. This motor will rotate this blade, the screw, and it will provide a load capacity of 200 kilos. And this, as a matter of fact, is done by the slipway. On the slipway, the frame of this moth is being assembled, on which the screws with these motors will be installed. 
After that, please tell me, will we start manufacturing in August or are we already doing it? That's a good answer, isn't it? Now let's look, what is our employee doing here? It is preparation of sections for other motors. Here is a stator for a left winch of a new generation. That winch, which we copied from Otis, but we used our own motor. We tested it, we ran it, we received our conclusions. We are not satisfied with the work. Although we surpassed Otis in terms of parameters, but this does not suit us. Why? Because, well, we understand the shortcomings. We are trying to eliminate shortbacks from our products. Here we have an automatic fire extinguishing station. You can see that the installation has been completed. Now the ventilation system is being installed here. It is being completed. So we are currently doing a large amount of work. Ventilation, alarm systems, fire extinguishing, sensors. All this is being piped. Colossal amount of work that we need to complete in order to hand it all over. But there is an understanding of what needs to be done, what amount of work. And it is clear and understandable that this building, please show it upstairs, what is going on there. Quite recently, none of this was there. And all these engineering networks are so tightly packed that it will be difficult to lay something new there. That's why, colleagues, we have a serious breakthrough ahead of us, both financially and in terms of work. There are a lot of documents to prepare. We work with documents constantly, and there is a lot of work to do on the upper floors, on the third floor. By the way, we have already prepared a room for receiving equipment. Be careful, please. Earlier, when we were negotiating with the Chinese that they would do the angle grinders, it was assumed that the controllers would also work and be made in China. But that case was abandoned. All our attempts did not lead to anything good. The Chinese are not such simple guys, we have to do it ourselves. And why? I'll tell you now. Look, this is our machine. And now let's go see a similar Chinese one. This is a Chinese machine that performs a similar operation. It manufactures and installs grooved insulation. State of the motor. Naturally, I am involved in the whole project, construction, design, technology, windings. What do I base myself on, first of all? Well, I look at whether it is economically reasonable or not, because many people believe, well, inventors, they are cut off from life, they are somewhere in the clouds, they don't understand life. And they say that they do, because they work in marketing, in sales, they are so important. But, well, you become that important, when you get your hands on products and someone produces them at some cost and the margin that they will make, they can make it if there is a huge shortage or if someone dumps prices, otherwise they won't make any money. 
And when we do this instead of that, well, what do I base myself on? I base myself on the cost. So what do we get? Casus belli, as they say in Latin. Everyone says, China has very cheap labor force. That is why they're so successful. Well, not at all. When I calculate the cost of performing a technological operation for installing roofed insulation, it turns out that 93% of the cost of this operation is the cost of the material. Everything else is salary, taxes, and everything else. Moreover, the salaries are very good. Why? Because one operator can maintain several such machines. And then his salary changes. If he maintains one machine, that is 93%. If there are four, then 96%. Then the question arises, what does the salary have to do with it? Taxes and everything else, what does it all have to do with it? It is the requirements and conditions of Technopolis. But there is another thing. What if we put a manipulator here? You saw that there is a robot manipulator that will service and put cores there. And then our operator will only change the coils with paper. Not with paper, but with insulating material. And then the question arises, and then how many materials will be included in the cost? 98-99%. Then the question is, we sell copper, aluminium, everything else, electrical steel to China, we get cheap products. And here we buy materials on the London Stock Exchange. There is some kind of discord here, but we can deal with it. And when you calculate, for example, a technological operation, we sharpen the shaft for the angle grinder on a lathe, CNC. Everything is wonderful. We took a 14 mm rod, we processed it, but we have an end of 8 mm, here it is 12 mm. How much should be removed? And if we take a landing machine, we get a blank from a rod, which only needs to be finished in certain places, then our cost drops sharply. And if, in addition to this, we also put a threading machine, which makes a thread at the end for fixing the gear of the angle grinder gearbox, then it's just pennies. And let's say a person who maintains a cutting machine and a threading machine, he can also service a stamping machine that will stamp electrical steel, because it makes about 5 strokes per second. You can calculate after how many seconds the finished package of the stator rotor pops out. The rotor is installed in the high-pressure casting machine in the conductor. Several pieces are cast at once, and a bar feeder with a rod for the landing machine is immediately charged. It turns out that one person maintains three or four machines. What do you think? With this cost ratio, is it possible to give this person a good salary? It is possible, because it does not impact anything. The main thing is that a person should be a good specialist. And then he or she will earn a good salary. And, for example, if we take some kind of shed, repair it, make it, put a lot of equipment... Guys, if we do it on the equipment that we have and not on what we need, then we get something that we cannot sell. Why? Because it has a negative impact on the cost. Therefore, each time we're going to produce something, we must consider what it should be done on, which equipment. And then the question arises, why is it necessary to increase funding? Because we need landing machine, threading machine, stamp, we already are producing things, and it has already been ordered. A high-pressure casting machine has already been manufactured. You have seen the photos. Victor Aristov demonstrated the cast gearboxes. Well, there is still some work to be done, of course. It's rough casting, but still. So, colleagues, we're in for some very interesting times. We're now preparing a new stage. 
launch of production. To do this, we need to get a certificate on the completion of construction. And to do this, we need to install ventilation systems, perform the colossal amount of work and supply equipment. Even that which was not planned at the initial stage. But if we want to maximize the profitability of the project, we must do it. That's it. Thank you all. Good luck to all of us.